better. There we go. All right, we'll wipe. Hello there, and may the peace, blessings, and mercy of God be upon us all as we strive for the truth together. Your friend Grace here. Now, if you know a little bit about me, it is that I love engaging in copious amounts of time of spending time with people engaging in like interfaith dialogue especially predominantly mostly on the street just talking with randoms um i've been really blessed to chat with people of other faiths um a lot of times i'm just making sure that's focusing on uh, a lot of times you know catholics mormons hindus uh, buddhists atheists other christians weird pseudo sciences weird pseudo cults I've, yeah, I've been really blessed with that. Though, between you and me, Islam is probably my favourite. Shh, don't tell the others. And, as you guys probably know, I've been, in a sense, pursuing, making more content, more predominantly about Islam lately. And I kind of wanted to sit down and explain how I became interested in Islam. We'll probably address the why a little bit later. But, first of all, how did I come into contact with Islam? Now, my first probably one-on-one -on -one conversation was... On a Friday night and it was actually quite a little bit of a rainy night as well on the street. Um, I kind of had a, a bit more of a background than the average Australian Westerner I guess. Um, throughout my childhood there had been like this big drama with um, a Muslim centre opening up next door to my church and so um, that was a big part of my childhood and then a little later on when I at my current church <laughs> I'm next door to the, it's next door to the only Islamic mosque in the Gold Coast, I think. So, I guess, um, Islam has been something that can't escape me <laughs> throughout my entire life, which I think is quite funny. But, um, so yeah, I, like, of course you've got the classic Western stereotypes, but I did have a bit more, in a sense, exposure than the average human, average Westerner or human huh. um even before i engaged in street work i remember the testimony of nabil qureshi who was someone who had such a love and passion for these people that the media painted as terrorists and other horrible things anyway i'm getting sidetracked so my friends and i were out and we were engaging in street evangelism which is kind of like dawa dawa a little bit but it's more focused on sharing a message the message being that hey, um, even though you deserve an eternal wrath from God for denying him, for sinning against him, for, you know, breaking his laws, God has provided a way that you don't have to take that punishment through trusting in Jesus' death on the cross. Really simple message, and but we get to really challenge people on their worldviews and stuff like that. So I was out there hanging out with my friends doing that um, and sharing that message when I came across my first Muslim. Oh yeah, and evangelism, when you boil it down, the definition kind of um, lies about a bearer of good news or bringer of good news. So it's slightly different, but kind of close to Dawah in that sense. Anyway, I keep getting sidetracked. Anyway, so eventually by God's sovereign plan, um, a Muslim tourist came across my path. He didn't look Muslim. I guess he was kind of young, young 20s and stuff like that. Anyway, we began chatting and what what surprised me is like he got a call from his friends and he's like wait I might be there in an hour <laughs> and he hangs up and he's like I'm really interested I really want to talk about that and what was really cool throughout the conversation you know we talked about the usual stuff you know the scientific miracles of the Quran um, stuff for and against it, the preservation of the text and stuff like that and it had been really really my first time that I had actually I had heard about the stuff in the background heard about some of the cases or evidence for Islam but I hadn't actually engaged with someone actually using that as a defense yet and so it was quite an interesting conversation it was a lot of fun I think it went for about an hour over an hour at least um, and yeah so that was a really cool conversation um, and this actually happened a few times especially at that exact spot um, Muslims I found on average were generally more well versed more quicker to talk about these deep topics which was really fun because pretty much no one really thinks about what happens to them after they die and so as a result I found that I had a lot more fun and it was a lot more engaging chatting with Muslims than pretty much pretty much any other people group save for a few weird cults and stuff like that who you're always on hmm but 
I also found that Muslims were also more predominantly on the street. So I got to engage with them more and more often. And so I started to learn the common arguments for and against the Quran, did some research, started reading the Quran by myself. Still gotta get through that. Do you guys want me <laughs> doing like a little commentary on it? I don't know. I don't know, we'll see how we go. Um, talking about the pros and cons of the evidence for and against the preservation of the text and what that actually meant and if that actually meant what Muslims mean, it, what they say it means and stuff like that. And so I got to, it was really fun researching all this stuff and um, watched hours upon hours of debates. I think I'm reaching like, I'm almost halfway to 100 hours of watching just Islam and Christianity debates one-on-one and so I love doing that and stuff like that. I watch so many debates I start watching debates between Muslims and atheists which was kind of funny because they spent most of the time bagging out Christianity <laughs> and then using the Christian arguments. I was like why are you so obsessed with me <laughs> and stuff like that. Anyway sidetracked where am I now? Since we can't exactly go out onto the street anymore, I'm currently engaging in more online focused debates, more online focused chats and stuff like that. Um, I found that with online chats, I meet Muslims who are in a sense less devout than those who I met on the street, which is <laughs> makes me sound like a connoisseur of Islamic subcultures. <laughs> oh. You haven't memorized the entire Quran in classical Arabic and American English. How disappointing. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, so yeah, I really do love chatting with Muslims and stuff like that. And kind of as a result, I've been brought here to YouTube since there's such a large population on YouTube. So hello, every Muslim watching this video. Um, but as a side point, if there's any Australian Muslims or female Muslims, especially in Southeast Queensland, who would love to chat, I would totally love to chat about your faith and whatever else and stuff like that so if you are alive and you would love to chat one-on-one -on -one, please comment down below or if you know someone who would be loving willing to chat um, I'd love to meet up if possible and I guess that's pretty much everything as always thanks heaps for watching may the peace blessings and mercy of God be upon you all as we keep searching for the truth and in the meantime God bless.